Good evening, this is Kuro. Got a ranked game in my new Strashimi. Going over the matchmaking, enemy team, double Jean Bart, Anna Soyez, Alaska, Black, and Kitakaze. Um, seems like one of the, the few games where there's more fat boats than there are little boats or small boats. So, kind of the, the lesson for this game is just... Uh, just playing smart you know uh, working as a team and uh, that's that's really the big one is is just working as a team here this game uh, has uh, a little bit more teamwork than the average uh, game that you're gonna see <clears throat> and right out of the gate I know I've got a Buffalo, and, I mean, there's three battleships, plus the Alaska. All of them can just dunk on this guy from across the map. Um, what I'm looking to do is come up in here and lay a line of smoke for this guy to, to give him an option to, uh, to use it. Maybe he, you know, pushes in here, gets a good radar in, and then we've got the John Barton Musashi able to shoot at things. Um... Uh, there's some good synergy here, so I am going to lay this smoke uh, out for him, pop in speed boost, pull it as long as I can. <clears throat> so... The big important thing, positioning on, on Sleeping Giant, you're seeing, I'm actually a little deeper than I normally, uh, than I normally get. <clears throat> That's my concealment circle. And you see the, the opening for the island. Uh, obviously, I outspot everything on, on their team. By having my concealment circle in this position, nothing can really approach this opening without getting spotted without trying to run into me so what i like to do i try to push in here uh this is obviously when i play the middle and i've got a spawn where i can where i can do this <clears throat> and i try to zone enemy dds from being able to rush up here into a cap uh, a really common one is mogadors seem to think that oh i'm super fast i'm just gonna you know fire up the the jet engine and just race right in here and it's true they they can but in general uh if i see a mogador i'll pop speed boost right out of the gate and i will still catch them in time where my team can knock usually at least a third to half of their hp off that mogador which obviously it doesn't have a repair it makes it much easier to deal with that destroyer down the road <clears throat> Uh, so this really is a good opening gambit for, uh, Jutlands, for Neustrashemi, uh, any sort of, uh, sneaky destroyer, even, even Yugumo. Uh, this is a solid play for a Yugumo. Uh, things that I wouldn't try to, to be this aggressive with, uh, Fletcher. Uh, you can do this with Black because you've got the, the radar backing you up. Um... Now I wouldn't do it with a, I wouldn't be this deep with a black if there was another black in the matchmaking because it's highly likely that there's going to be a black in here as well. And if I was in a black, I would be playing more behind this island to uh, use this as a torp shield <clears throat> and back in here and let my radar uh, do the do the work with my RPF. And be able to see roughly where that boat is, pop my radar, and and get him that way. Uh, <clears throat> so you're going to see me turn around and uh, get into a kiting position, and that's really important because uh, if the black is down here, I want to be able just to drive away from radar. Uh, I don't want to be in a situation where I've got to try to bow tank radar. Or anything like that because that's how you lose a ton of HP uh, while I'm out here I'm just gonna keep spotting things 
you know, oh, there's 30, 28, 29k spotting damage right there. <clears throat> you know, spotting damage really is that easy. You see, I'm, I'm rotating back around. Um, I'm not located, so it's making me think that uh, maybe the black's not here. I'm gonna pause this for a, a moment because I see an error. <clears throat> DDs, for the love of God. Learn what is an offensive flank and what a defensive flank is. Okay, this situation here, everybody's looking mid. This is the offensive flank right here. This is a defensive flank. <clears throat> if you run into a DD out here in the you know, 10, 15 seconds it's going to take these guys to rotate their guns, maybe more, to be able to shoot you. They might have their guns on reload. It could, it could be 30 seconds or more before they're ready to actually fire in this direction. <clears throat> You've probably already lost that trade. Because if, they're, if this is their offensive flank, they all have their guns pointed this way, and you're just going to get hammered. So the proper positioning here for a defensive flank, you want to have your stern pointed towards the enemy, and I would just say somewhere right around in here, and be ready to kite south. <clears throat> That's the proper way to do it, and and the reason why so close is because it's you can you can afford to let these guys come all down here. They don't get points for these squares here. They get points for coming here. They get points a lot of points for killing you. And it's it's absolutely critical <clears throat> that when you're on a defensive flank, you don't just keep sailing off in into whatever direction because you want to go spot something. Uh, when you're trying to to do that and spot something, what generally happens is you get spotted closer to the enemy big guns than whatever it is you're spotting is closer to your guns. And simple arithmetic means they're going to be able to land more damage on you than your team is able to land on that DD. And unless you're shit hot at dodging or really lucky or something, you're going you're gonna to take a bad trade. <clears throat> and if you run into something like a black, that bad trade may end up in you being dead. Um, so understand offensive, defensive flank, and how to position for either. Uh, I see so many destroyers get wrecked on the defensive flank just because they're so used to just continuing to sail out here because that's what I do every you know 10,000 random battles that I've played. I haven't actually learned how to play a defensive flank and position myself closer to my support. What ends up happening when you're positioned correctly? The enemy DD blunders into you, gets spotted. All of a sudden, your battleships have really close shots on that spotted destroyer. <clears throat> that usually means that you're further away from the enemy big guns you take a lot less damage, and this enemy destroyer will take a bunch of damage. So know how to know how uh, these things work, and you can win a ton of destroyer battles. Sorry to, to pause it so long, but <clears throat> <coughs> that's really important to uh, to try to cover that. Now. I am making the determination. My buffalo's popped radar. He's not spotting anything, so I'm making the play. I'm committing to A. I'm gonna push in here and uh, and try to take this cap. Now, if you'll notice, my Kitakazi's still sailing further and further away from his team. He's probably pretty close to 10 kilometers now. So any shots. Uh, on an enemy destroyer is going to be in the neighborhood of 13 to 15 and there's the black oops now let's let's do the experiment who's who's taking more damage yet? will it render 
I don't think it's rendering. <clears throat> He's outside my visual range, so the mod won't pick it up. <coughs> I do get detected by radar. Uh, that's telling me that the Alaska's here somewhere. With him not being spotted, he's right in here somewhere. Now, my buffalo's pushing in here. Uh, I'm not really wild about that. There's the Alaska. But this Alaska, I don't even know what the, what this guy's doing. Uh... He's going full broadside to my buffalo, which unfortunately had HE loaded that volley. I do have a cap. I am going to throw some torpedoes out here. I'm anticipating, well, I can only really torp this area. So I'm going to throw some torpedoes, expecting this guy to kite back because I'm expecting him to get hammered by uh, AP at any time. <clears throat> And just gonna jump in here and start trying to help out and that's that's the thing even though I'm not gonna do big numbers it's it's 2v1 it helps it's it's gonna distract this guy what the hell is going on why is this destroyer shooting at me um, <clears throat> maybe one of these days there'll be AP there we go checking just look to see how my buffalo is doing he's doing a good job tanking but i'm worried he's he's reversing too far out they're gonna start getting shots on him from back here <clears throat> but i'm just gonna keep shooting away at this uh, alaska and my jean bart's finally able to put him down and that's my cue to skedaddle and enemy jean bart pops up <clears throat> now <coughs> on sleeping giant I think that uh, these two ships are going to kind of fall for a trap if this John Bart wants to run up here let him what impact on the battle is he having up here it's not much you know he can't he can't defend his cab okay he can he can make some cross map shots but you know Jean Bart at, at long range doesn't really have the best consistent dispersion so really what I'd like to see is I just like to see uh, my cruiser and my battleship just make the turn push into C cap and just strong point it together both of them together you'll have a radar in here you're gonna make it extremely difficult for the enemy to push in here you'll have a, the Buffalo Hydro a DD is not coming in here and nuking both of these ships <clears throat> but instead they're gonna play the game and chase a kiting battleship and uh, it's at least gonna cost us the Buffalo and it takes the John Bart out of the fight <clears throat> now they've got both their dds out here on the west uh their kitakaze is farming our kitakaze who is being radared by the black <clears throat> <coughs> smart use of the black here just to uh provide that radar threat and not actually and not actually go and trade some of his DPM <clears throat> or some of his hit points away during that engagement now I'm seeing another situation it looks kinda of familiar from uh, a video I posted earlier where these battleships again 2v1s are, are hugely important I've got one lone John Bart here They've, I've got a Jean Bart and a Soyuz that are going to play the bow tanking game. And I was going to go up here and back cap, but if I do that, I'm probably going to lose this Jean Bart. <clears throat> and, you know, I'm. Um, 
And see, my Kitakaze is trying to, to backseat Captain. The reason, the reason why I am, I'm not going to be, and then trying to come back around is number one. By the time that I get up here, cap this, and come back down, my John Bart's dead. And in the point swing of things, it's better for me to. Uh, help secure these these caps try to protect my jean bart uh, and then drive up to to b uh kills are 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 usually worth quite a bit of uh a cap ticking and that's the reason why i'm prioritizing this differently than how this kitakaze uh is trying to encourage me to play and i i just wanted to i know i mentioned that earlier but you know if you're if you're following chat uh, I want to point that out so you can kind of understand why I'm prioritizing things differently. Now, this is important here. I'm inside three kilometers. None of them know I'm coming. <clears throat> Jean Bart starting to reverse. Going to leave the torpedoes slightly behind him. Uh, Soyuz looked like he was just sitting still. I figured he'd try to back up led him behind and I tried to, to let the torps go as long as possible to get the most kind of angle it was kind of a crap angle but you know it is what it is if I tried to come down that that gap likely I wouldn't be able to torp any one of them simply because it's too tight in there and they'd be within my arming distance on my torps <clears throat> now here just loading up AP Good old Grozovoy guns. Just slapping this AP in, into these ships. <clears throat> I see the Soyuz has guns on me. And you can see just how damn durable this ship is. I can really only pin this section of the stern here. So I'm just going like hell on it. And, uh... <coughs> I didn't get as much damage in on this Soyuz as I wanted, but we've picked up the one kill. We turned this into a one-on-one. -on -one. Worst case scenario, my Jean Bart rams the Soyuz. I run up here and I cap. And uh, that's a really good play. <coughs> we got quick sight picture with uh, those two DDs have pushed through the cap. They've uh, lost track of my Kitakaze. And uh, my Kitakaze is going to uh, hes gonna make kind of a controversial move here. And uh, <clears throat> sorry, I know there's a lot going on right now. But the Kitakaze is st stepping on C-Cap. Jean Bart's making a good move here, kiting out. Those, those destroyers are coming for them. And uh, by kiting out like this, they're not going to be able to YOLO torp him. Jean Bart's just too fast. So uh, you can already see the black starting to pull out and disengage. <clears throat> now this is, this is really important. If you follow chat, I'm telling him, don't die. This cap is not worth it. Just bail. And I gotta hand it to this guy. As soon as I set it, he gets it. And uh, I, I just wanna give a shout out to uh, Stringfellow Hawk, I think your name is. Awesome job, man. I know you're low HP, I know you're scrapping to survive right now. 100%. This, this move here probably won us the game. <clears throat> I know it may not look that way, but that's a lot of points that would be shaved off us and added to the enemy's points list. And that would really put a lot of pressure on us to uh, try to equalize those points. So, he's going to run to the map border. Uh, John Bart is still kiting away. <coughs> I'm going to finish capping this. I'm recovering as much HP as I can because I know i probably got a fight coming. 
my line of thinking I know that was a really short repair uh, or I'm wasting a lot of it however by the time I get back down here into the fight my repair is going to be fairly close to coming back off cooldown and I will have more HP to play with in that fight <coughs> <coughs> So, again, teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, Jean Bart's turning around. I'm on speed boost. By the time uh, he gets turned around, I'm going to be out in front of him, be able to start scouting destroyers. I know they've got to be going to A. Um, with C dropping, yeah, they probably turn back to C. And... Uh, <clears throat> Here we go here, uh, Kitakaze starting to open up on the Jean Bart, so is the black. I'm holding fire right now, uh, doing that gets my repair closer to uh, off cooldown, and it also avoids a 2v1 where if these, the Kitakaze and the black both turn their guns on me, they're not able to, to both shoot me. <clears throat> so. I'm shooting like shit right here, also having some crap uh, dispersion, straddling his destroyer. But the important thing is, you know, you take a look at the timer. I don't need to push in here. I'm right here just in case I do, just in case somebody detonates or something crazy happens. But I can stop right here. And I can see with the shots that the black's not pushing me. <clears throat> and I'm in a position where I can intervene if I need to. And go to, go pick a fight with this black if I need to. Trying to finish these kills up here. Just not able to. Um, but we end up winning this on points. Uh, in large part to our Kitakaze making the outstanding call to not try to hang in there just for a couple extra cap points. <clears throat> so going to throw some compliments out here. Again, this Kitakaze, XP wise, you know, it, it, it does not reflect how much effort that guy put into that game. Just, just with that one decision, uh, made that game so much easier to win. <clears throat> so this game didn't really take a lot of damage uh, but I, I really wanted to illustrate with this game the value of not letting your teammates hang out to dry always go for you know the 2v1s 3v1s you know 3v2s so on so forth uh, don't fight fair you know, this, this crap with, like, uh, formalized duels. I, I know I posted a video with 1v1 earlier. The reason why I posted that video is because, you know, me having a one-on-one -on -one is so goddamn rare. Uh, because I want to load the deck. Uh, I want to uh, have everything possible in my favor because I don't want to lose fights. Uh, so, anyway... You know, that is that pretty much sums up this video with uh, teamwork. If you guys uh, have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, hope you guys are having a good night, and I will talk to you later.